There is one area that we're growing milkweed, but I don't see any. Oh wait, there is. Oh, that's a small one right there. All right, so we have a small one here. This area right here is also our um, monarch butterfly habitat. Look at our other videos. We planted a lot of um, milkweed seeds here. And those are those small ones. So you can see they're everywhere. And eventually, same thing with these. Those are young milkweed plants. So eventually, this whole entire area. Well, this leaf is the seeds one-third eaten so let's see if we can find some underneath I don't see any so. and this is the other area that we planted a lot of milkweeds these larger ones are uh, adult ones that we planted last year that uh, we got from a friend of mine and we also added some small ones to seeds and that's what those are and that over there is uh, I think it's called a uh, swamp milkweed it's a different type but it's milkweed also and that's gonna turn into a bush yeah I don't see anyone in the caterpillar right here also there's another one back here Oh, that one's got one. That one's that's right there. That is a monarch caterpillar. Yeah, it's about, I don't know, it's in its second in star. It's only like about a quarter of an inch. I've noticed there's been a lot of ants on top of these things, so I don't know if that does anything, so we'll find out. We're still contemplating whether we should bring these caterpillars in its own kind of a netted container or let them be. I don't know. We'll have a better success rate. So we'll kind of monitor, make sure that's still around there. Uh, this one right here is kind of cool. I don't see anything. So there's another one that has. Oh, that one's got one. You can see that one also. It's tiny. It's like three millimeters. So, so we've got one there and one on this one. So we have to. Is this one? I don't know. So we've got two here and one there. So we have three so far. So we'll monitor. So we'll monitor those two we have two in here. Let's go. We have one more uh, milkweed patch in the front of the house. Okay, these are also matured ones. And you can see. Looks like there's a lot of it's been nibbling on these. These are usually caterpillars. But they're kind of outdated and old, so which means that there's no caterpillar that's eating fresh so it's not here but you can see all that but at one point maybe it looks like there's some caterpillars in this milkweed maybe it is eaten by predators okay so there's nothing there and this one Again, there's a couple of... Oh, here's one. Oh, yeah, right there. we got a small one right there. There's one right there, so... We have a caterpillar here. That makes it three. So we'll have to monitor. You see? There's nothing on the sun else. So we got some young ones. So we'll monitor these and see if they, uh, they stick around. They somehow disappear. Others probably have eaten them and 
Maybe we'll think about putting him inside a net. So, but that's all we got right now. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. How are you? You wanna come to me? Hi, buddy. I got some food for you over there. This one's got two. There's one right there. And one right there. That's two. And then there's one on this one. So in this one we got four, four eggs. Ooh, hallelujah. Where did that come from? Look at that guy, Sky. That one's ready to go. I know we, oh yeah, look, it's twitching. I think it's ready to go. Um, this was here before, smaller one. I'm sure that's the same caterpillar. But all of a sudden I couldn't find it. Like the past week, I don't know where it went. It must have been hiding somewhere. Uh, but I'm gonna take that. And we have a net to protect it. And this bush came out really nice. That's a butterfly bush. I think that's what it's called. From a friend of mine in last year's Monarch Butterfly video. He gave me a a small clump and it's growing very nice it's also a type of milkweed and then of course these are the ones that we got from him they came back and I planted a lot more small ones up there right there you can see so oh look at here looks like somebody's been eating this one nothing there same thing with this nothing here so I bet you it's that one we are gonna look at that. That's ready to jay hang. So I'm gonna take that out and put it in the net to protect it. And we're gonna look to see if there's more eggs over here. I don't think so. I don't see anything. It's got a bunch of holes, but no caterpillar. Usually when there's fresh leaves um, being eaten, it'll be underneath it. You can see these are older, so there are definitely some caterpillars here at one point. Started eating all these, but somehow they disappeared. Uh, see, nothing in here either. So, we're gonna cut that one, put it in the net. This one's already broken over here, so we're just gonna take that and. Uh, 
for a new house. And I have to demo where to put that. So this is the next day. You can see that caterpillar ate that entire stem and leaves of the swamp milkweed. And he, he ate the whole thing and he started nibbling on that uh, other piece of uh, regular milkweed, common milkweed. So let's put another fresh leaf in there. Okay guys, I see another caterpillar over here, it's about maybe a third instar, so we're going to try to move that to the protective enclosure. There's another big one. Let's see that one. There's another big one right there. I'm gonna relocate that too. So those are the two guys that we have right now. And then as you can see up there, that one is J hanging which is what it does before it turns into a chrysalis. Okay, this is the next day. I was here earlier and I cleaned this up a bit and put in some new, uh, some new milkweeds. But you see that one, that one's probably going to start crawling soon up, just like its counter partner right there. Let me go look at it from here. See that one's climbing, it's probably going to start jay hanging. And the one from yesterday that we saw in that corner that climbed up there, you can see it turned into a chrysalis already. And right before it hatches, that's going to turn like black color. So we got a chrysalis there, and we got this guy over here that's uh, about to start hanging soon. And that one over there should be going up soon also. Today is July 27th, 2020, and as you can see right there, it's a chrysalis. Uh, the top portion you can see it's getting darker it's been um, hanging there for about two days and on this side let me turn the camera you can see right there we have another chrysalis that formed yesterday and right next to it we have another uh, caterpillar that's J hanging so by tomorrow that should be another chrysalis and in this lower portion over here we have a chrysalis that formed yesterday and that one's kind of too low here so I'm gonna have to move that up higher because once that turns into a butterfly it's not gonna have enough uh, wingspan there to stretch out
it is August 5th and that one's about to turn into a butterfly that one's about to turn into a butterfly maybe later today or first thing tomorrow morning and we still have those two and then that one Oh guys, look, one of the butterfly hatched, you can see right there, oh yeah, this is the afternoon, this morning, uh, it was didn't even hatch yet, but this one's ready to fly, you can tell, so I'm going to grab it. Okay, this one looks like a female. There he goes. Still flying all the way up there. It is August 6th right now, and as you can see, the other chrysalis has turned black, so either today or first thing tomorrow morning, that should be a butterfly. And down here, that's still the same. This morning is August 7th, and that chrysalis over there, the black one, that should hatch sometimes today. Should turn into a butterfly. The last one we had was a female, so I'm guessing that's probably a female also. Kind of curious to see. That's just a guess. And then we have that other one right next to it. Should be in a couple of days. And this one over here also is starting black from the bottom. So we'll check on them later. It is almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon right now. And it looked like another monarch have hatched. That one's ready to come out. Looks like a female. I don't see any dots on the wings. So. We let this one out. Let's see. Okay, there you go. So there she goes. Yep, another female. Look, there you go. what it looks like the other one should be in about a day or two I think that one will be a male so we'll see what my guess is here's the other one as I had suspected one of them hatched oh wait a minute that one hatched that one hatch over there and not uh, that one that I had suspected oh that one's also female that one's also female looks like it just recently hatched That one just recently hatched. Oh, it's gonna be. This is also female. But all female so far, which is nice. Good rights wings. Oh, there he goes. Oh, it doesn't have a full flap of it. Full flap yet. Hey buddy, oh you almost stepped on the butterfly. Let's dry your wings still a little bit. They're still kind of. Okay. 
so I'm gonna put you over here. Oh, hold this little butterfly right there. It's a white one. That one looked like just recently hatched too. Let me put you over here while you dry up your wings away from predators. Oh no. Let me put you over here away from predators. Happy flying. Come back next year. That's where it came from. Sunday, August 9th, and I'm pretty sure this butterfly up, oh, sure enough. These are the swamp milkweeds. Looks like uh, having some uh, seed pods. So we can take advantage of that and plant more. So I check these all the times and I don't see any eggs or caterpillars but I walked by here today and you can see there's one right there. It's got to be as a third instar. So I've already taken down the tent so I'm going to set that up again the same location right here so that we can increase its survival rate and I bought these uh, kind of flower cuttings to put in there you can see these are tubes with a little hole in there we'll put the a leaf in there this is how this goes I'll just prolong that leaf and we'll put the caterpillar on there okay set this back up I'll just put this down here for now temporarily that's the way down because it's really heavy just in case heavy wind comes through and we have those leaves right there and those tubes so make them last longer and there's the caterpillar right there that one's about almost an inch so that's about like third inch star maybe it's not quite large enough yet, so I would say maybe another two weeks before it turns into a chrysalis, two to three weeks. Okay, that's how it looks like. We'll continue to monitor the progress. It's kind of a late bloomer, that caterpillar. And from how I understand it, the ones that are, uh, we're almost in September. Uh, these caterpillars, um, these monarchs, are the one that's not migrating to Mexico. This will be the one that's kind of just going to stay around here. It's too late for them to migrate, I think. But I'm not 100% sure. It is August 20. And look how big this has become. It's pretty much uh, ready to into a chrysalis like two days ago it was half that size so I'm gonna put in some fresh milkweed and I expect that to uh, 
start jay hanging in the next day or so. And there he is, a new chrysalis. It is August 26th in the afternoon and that chrysalis uh, still there. It is August 31st and that's almost black. So I anticipate that to be a butterfly tomorrow morning. I'll check here before I go to work and see if, it, uh, if it's a butterfly. Just got home. It's 5 o'clock. The butterfly has hatched. I think this is a female also. Oh yeah. Oh, it's definitely a female. So, let's see if I can get him out. There you go. Look, the river is still flying into the distance. It is September 20th right now. Uh, this is the swamp milkweed. We planted last year, you can see, really grew. And we've got some pods over here. Some of them actually have popped already. So you can see what the seeds look like. Yep, it fell off. Right here. See, there's a seed in there. And all this little things helps it fly away and get planted somewhere else. So, right now, before they start flying away, I'm going to go ahead and harvest those. Then, when it gets a little bit cooler, I'll plant them again in the same area. Yeah, you can see there's one right there. They're not all ready yet some of these are still green but those are ready so I'm gonna take them up and collect the seeds I'm gonna plant them probably around November let's grab these pods uh oh those other ones uh, yeah a couple of flying ones over there see that's how they propagate to other places there's one right there flying so we'll leave that alone but we're gonna go ahead and collect what we can just put them in this jar that's what they look like <laughs> 